Hello, my name is Eric Little. I'm the head coach of Performance Edge Training. We're here in the weight room at Performance Edge Training Center. The reason we're here today is to talk about the workout for the out of shape 30 something. So where did that idea for this workout come from? Well, obviously, I was asked by someone who's kind of a 30 something, who used to be very active in their lifestyle, uh, has kind of stopped working out over the past few years, and they need a way to kind of ease back into it. Their job is such that you know, if they get really sore, it's going to be detrimental to the work. So they needed something that could kind of slowly build them back into a consistent workout schedule. So through a lot of trial and error, a lot of testing here at Performance Edge, uh, this is the workout we come up with. Uh, one of the criteria was that it be something they could do on the road, requiring just a minimal amount of gear. So this utilizes one kettlebell, okay, just one kettlebell. Four of the five exercises that you're going to see today are based on that one weighted kettlebell. What weight do you start with? Well, I would suggest starting much lighter than you think you need. And possibly even starting off the first time you do the exercises, not using any weight at all, just to kind of build some familiar, familiarity with it. Okay? Uh, then maybe a 20 pounder. I know you're thinking, man, 20 pounds, that's way too light for me. This exercise is, is it's tough, okay? It's, it is designed to ease you into working out. But uh, it's a lot tougher than you think it is when you watch somebody do it. So take my advice, start off light, uh, grab a 20-pound kettlebell. You can pick them up at sporting goods stores all over the country. Uh, work with that until it gets way easy, okay? And then you can move up to something heavier, like maybe a 30, 35-pounder, all right? So um, how does this work out work? Uh, really, the, the best thing I can do at the end of the video, I'll put a... Uh, Put a, a list of the exercises. Um, since this was set up specifically for an internet forum, uh, which was www.getoffdx.com, uh, probably the best advice I could give you would be go there, uh, go to the health and fitness section, and there's a, an active thread about this workout. Um, you can ask questions, you can see the workout, you can talk to people who are doing it, kind of see what's working for them, what's not, and what kind of success they're having. All right. So without much further ado. Uh, let's start talking about the exercises. We'll start with the first one, and that's kettlebell squats. Robert here is going to help us out as a demonstrator, and I'll explain what you're seeing. First, always be careful when you pick up a kettlebell. We don't want to strain our backs. So he's going to bend his knees, pick up the kettlebell, just in preparation to get the exercise started. Now, I'm holding the kettlebell, if you notice, he's holding on to the handles. Some people refer to that as the horns of the kettlebell. So as he holds on to the handles, his feet are roughly shoulder width apart, and he's going to sit back with his butt. Go ahead and demonstrate that four horse rider. Go ahead and sit all the way back. Good. And back up. Drive up with your legs. Okay, that's a proper kettlebell squat. Just knock out a couple more of those for us. What's important as he's squatting is that he's driving his heels into the ground. And okay, we don't want to drive the balls of our feet into the ground. We want to make sure we drive the heels of our feet into the ground. Okay. Good. Now if you wouldn't mind, get you turn 90 degrees so the camera can get a good profile view. All right, and squat. Notice he reaches back with his butt, his chest stays up, his head stays up, holds the kettlebell up high on his chest, and squats. All right, moving on to exercise number two, we have Turkish get-ups. Again, Robert's going to demonstrate for us. This time, as he picks up the kettlebell, he's going to do it with one hand. Right, so again, making sure he bends at his knees, maintain safety. He bends down, grabs the kettlebell. As he picks it up, he's going to press it over his head. All right, notice the kettlebell's on the back of his forearm. And that, that's more stable, makes it safer throughout the range of motion of the exercise. All right, the first thing he's going to do, keeping the kettlebell pressed up all the time, that's important, you want to keep this arm straight. I kind of like to think there's like a magnet pulling this kettlebell up above me the whole duration of the exercise. First, he's going to sit down. Again, keeping the weight pressed above his head, he sits down. Now he lays back. Again, keeping the kettlebell pressed up. Now he's going to set up and stand up. So the exercise is, you pick up the kettlebell, press it above your head, sit down, lay back, set up and stand up. Okay, now he's going to set the kettlebell down, bending at the waist, or bending at the knees, excuse me, and switch hands. So now he transitions to the other hand, presses it above his head, he sits down, lays back, Keeping it pressed above his head the whole time. Sits up. And stands up. Good job. Set that down there, Robert. Now, some people find the sitting up part of this to be the most complex part. 
Okay? I would like for you to attempt to do it this way. If for whatever reason that doesn't work for you, there's, there's a, a way you can kind of cheat a little bit until you build up the strength in order to do it properly. Robert's going to demonstrate that for you now. Robert? Again, the exercise starts the same way. He bends at the knees, picks up the kettlebell, presses it above his head. He's going to sit back, lay back. And now as he goes to sit up, maybe he's not quite capable of doing that. He's going to use his off arm, the other arm in this instance, his left hand, to kind of push himself up off the floor. Go ahead, Robert. Again, keeping the weight directly above his head, and he stands up. All right. Now we're going to do this one more time. One more time. And uh, using the off hand for support. This time he's going to face the camera so you can get a different angle of what the exercise looks like. Please, Robert, go ahead. Presses it above his head. Sits back. Lays back. Uses his off hand to help himself stabilize and get up. And then back to his feet. And that can, that's the Turkish get up. Exercise number three. This is flutter kicks. Give us a little dedicated abdominal work. There's lots of various exercises I can do just to concentrate on my abs. Uh, we've just found through trial and error that flutter kicks work really well with this program that we're talking about today. So again, Robert's going to demonstrate flutter kicks for us. Go ahead, Robert. Let's keep his lower back on the ground. Uh, his shoulders can come off the ground. The more you keep your shoulders off the ground, the harder the exercise is. He keeps his knees straight, and he's just pumping his feet up and down. Hence the name flutter kick. Pretty simple. Don't think we need a lot of explanation on that. Let's move on. Next we have kettlebell swings. Kettlebell swings. This is kind of a cornerstone. This and Turkish get-ups of any good kettlebell workout. All right, so again, Robert's going to demonstrate this for us. He's going to safely pick up the kettlebell with two hands. Go ahead, Robert. Now, the kettlebell swing, it's almost like a squat. He's going to reach back with his butt, as in the squat. Go ahead. And now thrust his hips forward, and that swings the kettlebell upwards. Good. Again, his feet are maybe a little wider than the shoulder width apart. And this is a hip exercise, okay? He's driving the weight forward with his hip. Now, so you can get a good, good view of really what's going on, and ask Robert to stop. And he's going to turn it so you get a profile angle. Please, Robert. All right, and swing. Notice it's the explosive forward action of his hips that's driving the weight forward. He is not, I stress, not lifting this with his arms. It's the explosion forward of his hips that's driving the weight forward. He still reaches back with his butt, just like in a squat. Thanks. Good job. All right, the final exercise. This is called lunges. We're going to be stationary, standing in place, because a lot of times we don't have a lot of room. So Robert, again, is going to safely pick up the kettlebell, holding it by the handle, just like he was about to do a squat. And now he's going to simply do a lunge. And the way a lunge is done, he's going to step forward with one foot. He steps forward and bends his knees down to his knee, almost touches, but not quite the floor. He drives his weight back up and switches feet. His feet return to the starting position each time. Good, that's a good mind. Let's do a profile view. Set back a little bit so the camera can get its full, full angle of your feet there. Excellent. All right, and here again is a side view of a lunge. All right, so there you have it. That was the, the basic exercises that make up the workout for the out of shape 30 something. Uh, I know it looks easy. Uh, you probably watched it thinking, wow, that's not going to be much of a workout. Trust me, 60 seconds of each exercise is a lot of work. Uh, by design, it's meant to ease you into it. So please follow the suggested workout routine. That will be posted uh, here in the video at the end. And you can find detailed instructions, uh, advice, people's thoughts and comments at www.getoffthex.com in the health and fitness section. Again, I'm Aaron Little. I want to make sure to thank Robert Wynn for his uh, help today. And uh, hopefully we'll see you at the gym or on the range. Thanks.